Okay, I think this will be my last video here, and I'll finish the game sometime later, but I need to get to doing some other stuff. Hopefully I can get out some more videos on Halloween. If not, I'll follow up and do like a follow up November 1st. Nominee in Okay, Bogot. this is all in line. Nominee Ludwig Prien. Okay, this is actually one of the books where. Wow. <laughs> I guess so. Ah. Oh. Now I'm sad. Yeah, I'm just gonna book it. Let's go. Come on. Oh my god, please run. This fucking controls. Oh my god, okay, it's just not gonna run for me today. Oh, now it runs. Great. Yeah, I was under the impression that if you read the book on the pentagram, it wouldn't kill you. Guess not. No. No, but I will take all these. Yeah, I'm gonna save. <laughs> Just absolutely destroyed me. <laughs> Alright, let's read. The Sacrificial Dagger, Otto Stern. Lumina Books. The importance placed on ritual sacrifice is constant in religious cult practice. Propitiating the gods is a theme common to many religions. The Old Testament affords many examples. Primitive polytheistic belief systems integrate sacrifice in their rituals as part of the recurrent process of reaffirmation and, naturally enough, group cohesion. The members of their social and religious community come together in an act of purification and atonement. It would be erroneous to imagine the act of human sacrifice linking priest, offering and God, C.F. Manzetti, Stone Courts, as anything less than a vital focusing of the group's faith. The act also ensures the continuing appeasement of the god, but only if practiced by a recognized officiating priest using the appropriate instrument. Studies made concerning primitive religious groups bear witness to the central role of sacrifice in living ritual. My own work in the field of ethnopsychology brought me into contact with a sorcerer living in the region of Arkham. He introduced me to the rite of steel, linked to a ceremony known as adoring the black goat of the woods with a thousand youngs. The god being adored is known as the vagabond. So, okay, so let's shove Negroth. Here, the dagger's roll, which allows the life breath to pass from one dimension to another, is essential. The Vagabond is a frightening figure, being able to move where he wants and to kill those who have displeased the Goat God, for whom he acts as a go-between. The Goat is clearly a fertility god. The priest, having spoken the invocation, must choose the appropriate dagger for the sacrifice. The knife with a sinusoidal blade that must be dipped seven times on night when the moon is full, in water that has been distilled a hundred times, will be laid aside, since it would send the vagabond back into his own dimension. See illustration. The priest will rather choose the dagger with a curved blade. That is more appropriate for slitting of the lamb's throat. This act transfigures the sorcerer priest and plunges the assembled worshippers into a divine trance. Okay. Alright, so I can use the dagger to wipe this bastard out. So 
Okay, let's go. Since I really don't have the patience to read other things right now, let's uh, let's official dagger drop. Don't want to make the final video about this. Oh, come on. Really? Alright, where is he? Oh, so you did not just return back to your default position. Yet. Okay, hopefully, I pray to God, this is gonna work. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save because that's what I did. Let's put this down. Should have done this a bit ago. Drop. Let's get out the dagger. Oh, doors. Huh. He doesn't really sound that scary either. He's kind of like bubbly. Oh, so you're just gonna hang out with the door then? Alright, that worked perfectly. I was kind of fearful that he'd take multiple hits. Yeah, I'm glad they cut that scene off. That was kind of clunky. Guess what, guys? I'm gonna save again, because if I remember correctly, this is rough. Uh huh, it wasn't at all. Never mind. Well, I'm pretty sure there's some monsters in here somewhere. See what we're up against. Oh, what are you? Are you serious? There's actually a monster chasing me? Good old time. Who are you? Oh, you're crazy. Thankfully, I have this. Come on, die. Oh, what the hell? Spike you. Spike you. Hey, he's dead. Spike you. Those eyeballs are doing their shit. You're not turning around and coming to rape me, are you? I need a circles in this place or something. I'm out of health items. How am I doing on health? Not too bad, actually. He didn't really. Just like one point of damage a hit. I'm loading this up. I'm not feeling I'm not feeling that sword anymore. Hello? Okay. He's still in here. He's letting me know. I just don't know where. Yeah, I'm assuming he's doing rounds. Exactly sure what that creature is. I 
they called it the Chthonian? Okay, so this is this is the area out to the, the basement with the super rats. Is, is he actually still in here? Ones. Oh, see the creature in the upper left hand corner. Oh, oh, now I got the jump function. Oh, this is lovely. Alright, guess what? Don't throw shit at me, please. Okay. The lamp goes off. Yes! That's what I wanted to have happen. This is definitely one of the clunkier parts of this game. Oh, I made it, thank you, God. No, no, deep one. Just stop. No, see, you can't get me. You can't. What are you? You're like a rat spider. Spider rat. Thankfully, Smith and Wesson has an answer to you. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought he was dead. Oh, that's great. A lot less hits than I was thinking he would. He looked armored. Oh, what are you? What is this, a night god? Can I kill it? I can't even remember these things. It's hard to tell like, where I'm aiming at. Oh, I actually hit it. Oh yeah, you can. Nice. Time to save, because I just don't care. I don't want to do this again. 